Hi, today I want to show how to add NFS storage to the OVIRT. And in order to do that, I'm just showing uh, FreeNAS because it's a very popular uh, solution that many people install at their labs, at home, small business, etc. I'm going to show how to create the share, the dataset, etc. for the NFS share to the OVIRT. So first thing we'll need to do is to create an account with user ID uh, KVM, the ID is 36, and group KVM ID 36. I already created them, so if we'll go to groups, you'll see we have here KVM with group ID 36. It doesn't have any permissions, no sudo, anything else. We got users here, and here is the user I created. And as you can see, let's do edit. It has no password or anything else, and it doesn't have any login or shell. It's simply just an account. After that we have it, we can make sure that it works by looking at the groups, KVM, and let's look at the members. And as you can see, we have KVM member. Now that we have it, we need to create a data set, a place where the data will be stored. So we're going to the storage, pools. This is my pool. And right now I'm basically creating a new data set. And I will call it overt VMs. I can add a comment. VM storage for OVIRT. I can leave everything uh, the same. I uh, just uh, don't need uh, synch uh, synchronization because I'm using UPS. So it should synchronize well. And uh, I don't also don't have um, S-Log device at the moment. So I'm just leaving it as disabled. And this should be okay. Let's look at the advanced. I don't need any quota. You can basically set a quota if you want and not uh, give it the entire space. So you can set the quota here if you want. I don't need it. Once we created it, we can look at it and see it's here. And it's it got the full space of the storage, 20, almost uh, 20 terabytes. Now that we have it, we need to basically share it because we need over it to talk to it. We'll go to NFS shares and we'll create a new NFS share and we'll create uh, click here and we need to go to the pool and to the over it VMS. That's the one that we created. We'll click on all dear, click in advanced mode. And here we'll map all user to KVM and the group to KVM. Let's save it. Now, if we'll try to use this share with overt, it will fail. Why? Because if we'll go to the shell and we'll go to mount pool one. As you can see, the permissions here are root wheel, and, KV and the overt requires this one to be KVM. So we'll need to do a chown KVM dot KVM overt. Now that we have it here, we can exit. You can do Control D to exit from this shell, and let's go to the overt virtualization uh, panel and we'll go to the domains. As you can see we have the hosted storage which I showed in the previous video. It creates by default and right now we'll need to create a new domain. And as I s mentioned previously in other videos the ISO and export domain functionality has been deprecated. So we're only sticking with data. 
So let's call it here VMS from NAS3. And if you want to add description, you can add it later if you want, or comment. And we'll, since I didn't add this one yet to the main uh, DNS, I'll just use IP. Pool one over it. VMS and uh, let's click OK and as you can see I now have it VMS NAS3 status is active and if we look at the shell of the free NAS we can see that it creates a file called direct IO test to test if it has direct IO and it creates the directories its own special format directory. It's the same file system, it's just that it, uh, it has its own format where to fi put files, etc, etc. So now that you have it, you can basically test it, for example, if we'll upload uh, an image or anything. So let's click here, upload, start, test connection, I have it working. Choose file, let's go to the download and let's take the over it node installer. It's just for testing. And where do I want to put it? As we can see here, since we are already on the VMS NAS3, it's putting it right here. So I click OK. It's locking the file, so you cannot use it while it's uh, being taken care of. And you'll should see here, as you can see, it's transferring. And as you can see here, uh, that's um, the speed. Right now, it's 280 megabytes, and it's since it's 10 gigabit, it's pretty fast. And it's just finalizing. After it will finish, you should see complete, and then it will switch to OK. That means the storage works. And you can export or create new virtual machines, or you can do something else. Um, if you go, for example, right now, let's look at the virtual machine right now I only have the hosted engine it should be okay if we'll take this disk for example we can click here and we can click move basically I would not recommend to move a running machine but you can do it if you want you can uh, select where do you want to move it since we only have two storages the hosted engine storage and the NAS3 you cannot switch to anything else, only to NAS3. So once you click it, it will start migrating this disk to the other storage. I'm not going to do that. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any question, comment, I'll be happy to hear about it. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell to receive notifications about new clips. Thanks.